Good afternoon, evening, I guess. Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with another four-box break of 2018 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions just dropped today. This is a random first name, first letter break. Now, if you want, um, in video one, which is on our on the YouTube right now, watch video one and watch the first couple of minutes right there. That'll give you a whole breakdown of how we're doing the first name letters. And um, it, it's pretty self-explanatory, but just to put it on the record, it's on it's in break one. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. There are your first name, first letter, first names. Let's randomize each list. Three and a one, four times. One, two, three, and a one, four times. Rich down to coop. Three and a one, four times. One, two, three, and a one, four times. J down to M. Let's use that font right there. All right. Rich with J. Amber T N. Brad W V. Stephen K D. Sen Yin R. Chris Parent P plus O. Steve with S. Rick with B. Bruce Last Spot Mojo A and Z. Steve L F. Coop C G. James with K E. Coop with H Y. And Scott Cooper with M. Who's, whose name, whose first name starts with an M? Let's sort alphabetically. Trades are allowed if you'd like. This is the second half of the eight box inner. There'll be another four boxes from the second inner. All right, there. So feel free to trade if you would like. We're talking about Le'Veon Bell just before just before the break, um, and Coop is saying, "Hey, Le'Veon Smart, with the amount guaranteed in some of these mega deals, he should have done it before last season." Yeah, timing was kind of an kind of an issue as well. Oh, that's right, Chris Perrin, you got P and O again. Well, we got you a couple O's in the last break. Maybe some Patrick Waz this break. Yeah, Thomas. The, yeah, the 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 packs on these. I like I like Goodwin Champions. Good job, Upper Deck. We gotta we gotta. I'll pay a little bit extra for the for better packs, though. It kind of rips like like wet toilet paper. Love what's inside them, though. <laughs> Love what's inside. All right, let's print. Let's rip. Looks like no trading. TWC trade window closed. Yeah, Bruce with A and Z again with the last spot mojo. What are the odds of that? Now you probably could calculate the odds actually. 14 spots, 14 different letters. All right. On a Wednesday the 5th, there we go, 2018 Goodwin Champions. There's everyone right there. First names. Let me actually drop the checklist for you guys too so there's a checklist right there so you can follow along at home um, if there's any FDR cards those FDR cards will go to uh, will go to F for Franklin I think there are a couple other geographic location cards that have the in front of it we're not using the T for the I think everything else should be self-explanatory I think there's a Old World War II airplanes, I think. Those will go by the, the manufacturer's name is listed first on the checklist. So you'll see when we get there. Oh, no worries, Steve. Yeah, figure everyone wants to see what, what they can get. Because it's not just it's not just Ben Simmons, it's not just Michael Jordan, you know, not just B and M. You know, there there's T, Tiger Woods, like Amber could get a Tiger Woods. Right, and there's a lot, lot of other random things in here too. Canines, companions, the shorter printed ones actually sell pretty well. Geographic map relic cards, all sorts of fun stuff. So there, there's a lot. So um, it's kind of difficult to, it's kind of difficult to get those combos right. But we did the best we could on a set like this. It's really just, you just buy a spot, cross your fingers. If you like the vibe of Goodwin, then you just buy a spot, cross your fingers, and enjoy what you, what you end up getting. All 
Bruce is saying that panic in New Jersey already. Oh, because there's a... Oh, they're trying to hype up a hurricane coming up the East Coast, but it's 2,000 miles away. That thing could turn. That thing could take a right turn. Two thousand miles away. Maybe, uh, maybe post, maybe post Labor Day retail sales are down, so they're like, oh, we gotta, gotta get, so gotta sell some more batteries and bottled water. I was fat when we were in Atlantic City, Bruce, and we were driving down from the airport when we were going there. We, um, it was, uh, it was kind of crazy to see, like, the going down the parkway, and then there would be, like, a random mini rest stop that would, that would pop up in the middle of the road, and there was, like, a big gas station there, and all sorts of food and stuff there, and snacks. Man, we don't have those things in California. Like we just there's like a town that you just go into, but not like just a thing for. And you guys have different gas out there. It's like, what what's what's Sunco? What is that? I think that's a gas, right? All right. Oh, this this card's kind of confusing because you think that guy's supposed to be this way. It's this way. All right, we've got this. Uh, this this looks like a wood card right here. It's made out of wood. Nice. So that'll go to Jose Santos. That goes to Jay. Did you guys hear about the uh, the jockey? I think it was. I get the Espinosas. Maybe if you're a horse racing fan, you guys might know this. One one of the Espinosas who rode the it was either Victor or someone. They they usually race out of Santa Anita, but he won the Triple Crown. And then two weeks later, he was training with a horse, and he got thrown off a horse after the horse had like a heart attack or something like that. And he's the, the dude is like was like partly paralyzed. Is it was it Victor Espinoza? It was such a sad story because there there was um because he he train he I think he lives out here. Was it in Del Mar? It's in San Diego. And it was such a sad story because. He there was a big story in the sports section in the LA Times, Sunday Times, and he was just like, Man, it's crazy how light like life comes at you fast because he's like he's in good spirits, I think, but all things considered. But he was just like, Man, one week I would I, I'm winning the you know you know what triple crown winner one time and now like I don't know if I'm gonna work again. You probably won't. Which is sad. Alright, we got trouble below, that'll go to T. It's when, ro when robots rule the earth, apparently. Letter T, Amber with the uh, 3D lenticular. And we've got, I love these things, right here, aviation relics. It's apparently Italy's uh, best and most undervalued fighter craft. Using World War II. The Mackay, right, right there. That goes to letter M. That'll be for Coop. Now, some of these can be really short printed. I'm, I'm, give me a second here. I love this set because there's like there's a lot of treasure hunting here that we can do. So this is MCA 202. One out of every 663 packs. Nice. Got Richard Ramon, Tiger, and all cards ship in this, ladies and gentlemen. So all the, all the stuff you see, some of them could be slightly shorter printed and everything will be going out to you. All right, so box one in the books, there's supposed to be 
There's supposed to be three hits per box, but it looks like we only got two. The, the 3D and the Relic right here. Did I miss an autograph? I don't think I did. Who would have noticed it right away? No auto. All right, next box. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's an auto. So I guess a below average box. The aviation relic, pretty cool, but. We saw another box in the pre in the first half of that one. All right, next box. Oh, Steve, do you do you have? Oh, Steve Freeze has S for Shohei, among others. There, uh, his autographs are one out of every fifty three thousand packs. All right, let's do it. Let's find one. I like those map relics in here too, there's map relics. Stephen K says that missing one was probably the letter D, the one he has. Rex was saying last half only had two hits in the first box, but the second box has two autos. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so maybe maybe it'll, it'll make up for it. It'll, it'll even out at some point. Should be e should be easy for me, a, pr a a former breaker of the week. I think that just means I'm good overall. No, I'm not sorcerer of the. If I was sorcerer of the week, I'd, I'd be pulling pulling uh, Michael Jordan autographs out of every every box. All right. Good luck, everybody. And she looks like she's like Superman right here, Jesse Graff. Nicknamed Tumbleweed. I kind of like that. So I think this might be short printed, Chris Parent, right? The, the ones that are in red. They're not numbered, but it'll go out to you, obviously. And folks, ladies and gentlemen, we have a hound coming up, a canine companion, and it is a Brazilian terrier. It's still commonly used to hunt vermin. I guess it's kind of like a like a Jack Russell. There you go. Letter B that goes to Rick T and the Brazilian terrier. The Brazilian terrier is. Tier one, one out of every 83 packs, you'll find the tier one pups.
There's some memorabilia right here. Francis TFO. Going to the letter F, that'll be for Steve Freeze. Steve Freeze, we just got, uh, Dodgers just got your brother. Picked up your brother, David Freeze. There's the uh, 3D Mackenzie Dern. Nice, what is this? Can you can you find something in, in those 3Ds? There must be some sort of game here. Going to letter M, Coop with letter M. And nice. We got a wood mini, the great one. Wayne Gretzky, W. Brad Cook with W. How short printer? I think Chris looked looked this up earlier. I think those wood minis are one out of uh, one out of twenty. One out of every twenty packs. Oh, there's a bounty program with those three Ds. Nice. I think that makes sense, yeah. The little scratch off on the back. All right, box two. Good luck, everyone. And Thomas, you know what? You should call Upper Deck and let them know that you want um, that you want a uh, paw prints. In this, I feel like that's something they would actually. Bossman knows the guy that designs this set. Maybe we'll pitch that. Well, maybe we'll pitch that idea for you, Tom. It's like a one of one, like a like they'll just they'll, they'll get like some ink and then put dog's paw on a card, like a pug. Pug paw. I think they could put that. Make it a one of one. Or maybe an out of four. <laughs> you gotta get the front paws and the and the back paws. You can make the set. You can collect the you can collect the set. Build the set out of four. Get all four paws. Thomas, I can just I can just do that for you. I can just go and go and grab the pug and have him you know get some ink on there. Or maybe a, a dog's paw paw in like a some sort of like plaster, some sort of cast. Paw print. Thomas would totally buy into it. Upper Deck, if you're listening, Thomas at least would totally buy into it. I would. I definitely would. All right. This next box here. All right, good luck, everybody. We've got a shared history when robots rule the world. I think we're just gonna give this to to A. These ones don't have don't really have names attached to it. So we'll just go by the first letter on the card. Bruce with letter A. We got some Gaudi memorabilia. Kyle Troop. Is that really his hair? That's amazing. I don't think I've ever seen this guy. 
but maybe I'll watch more bowling to see that hair. K for Kyle, James. Part of that bowling shirt, maybe. There he is again. There he is again. I can't unsee him now. Oh, we've got we've got a uh, a map of, of Phuket in Thailand. I want to go there. With those with those crazy rock formations, I kind of, I'd cliff dive from here. I'd be, I, I feel like that's kind of shallow. I wouldn't cliff dive there, but you get the idea. Letter P that goes to Chris Parent. Let's see how short printed this one is. Wow, Chris, that's one out of two thousand seven hundred and four packs. One out of every two thousand seven hundred and four packs. So. Pretty short printed. Nice. Who are you? It's kind of easy on the eyes. Oh, surfer. Nice. We've got some wood right here. Hey, wait, does he really bowl? Does Kyle really bowl with two hands, Bruce? I noticed that. I was kind of like, what's he? I thought he was just, I was just, I thought he was just picking up a bowling ball and like moving it to another location. There's Lindsey Weaver, L. C. Freeze. Right, this is a family show. It's a location in Thailand, you guys. <laughs> that's, that's what Big Rig says. That's what Brett says every day at work. Andre Silva. Lindsay Weaver again. I feel like we haven't seen an autograph in a while in this half. Tiger. <laughs> Her. Yu Ting Shi, that goes to, that short print goes to Coop. All right, and the last box, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, this is a new, it's a thing? Bruce, Bruce is saying, Moss 1 and 8 saying they do it to get more revolutions on it. Hits the pins harder. It's a crazy, it's a new trend? I'm not sure if I'm into that. It's like the guys who uh, the guys who don't putt like this anymore. They 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 putt like this. You know, they they hold like. They hold like the that bottom half of the putter and they hold it in a weird way and they they tap it in. I don't know if I like that. Not into that. Bowling with two hands. I don't know if I could do that either. Yeah, like it's like a granny shot in basketball. Although people say that that, that is actually a really <laughs> it's actually a pretty accurate way to uh to do that, what was it? Rick Barry, who uh, was it? Rick Barry, who shot underhand, granny style, but was just like a great free throw shooter. I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm. I'm no bowler, so maybe I don't really have a, a leg to stand on on that one.
Wait, wait oh, I'm gonna have to look up. I didn't know this. This is the first time I learned that that was actually a thing. So I'm gonna have to look at some some YouTube videos of this. We're gonna have to go to the YouTube and find out. Jeremy Anderson saying Jason Belmont Belmonte is the best two-handed bowler. I've never seen this in my entire life. This this sounds like this sounds like crazy talk. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Then we'll have another four boxes, which will be half of the second inner case that we popped open. And then we've got another master case to work on as well. All of that will be on jazbeeshobbyland.com. I think the next break will be a couple more autographed football jerseys. So we'll do that as well. So we should have, we should have, a, we have a nice, nice evening ahead of us, boys and girls. Nice. Sport royalty, dual memorabilia, Serena Williams. Steve Freeze. Nice. Is she still in the U.S. Open? I know she did, like destroyed her sister the other night. Like that 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 match was over in like half an hour. All right, nice Serena for Steve Freeze. There's Aaron Pico. Relic. Yeah, Joe P missed it. Steve Freeze. From Whittier, that's, that's that's pretty close to where we are. I grew up around there. September twenty third, that's near my birthday. Five seven one forty five rock hard muscle. That's like me too, huh? Letter A goes to Bruce. I'm pretty much like Aaron Aaron Pico, some some, some sort of fighter. There's Marco Andretti. And, well, a wood Tiger Woods. I love it. T for Tiger goes to Amber. Wood, Tiger Woods. I love it. Why, why is Jordan when moonlit Jordan? Both ends of the core, moonlighting, maybe? Or maybe it's just the design? And then we've got set them free. Look at these Skynet robots just setting these guys free. Can't do that. Man, that's going to be a terrifying moment in history, ladies and gentlemen. You think you, you think you think the world's in trouble now? Wait till the robots do this. S. Steve Freeze. This this will haunt your dream, Steve. When we ship that to you. All right, last bit, folks. I feel we have not seen an autograph. I feel like in any of these boxes, but we're getting extra hits here. Dual memorabilia. That's F for Francis, Tiafo, or Tfo. Amber with the, or no, I'm sorry, I was looking at last names. Letter F, first name, C Freeze. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another four boxes of Allen, Al, not Allen and Ginter, Goodwin Champions. They're very similar. Goodwin Champions in the books, boys and girls. So thanks very much for getting into the action. 
And we will see you next time for the next break. We'll post another one of these. I'm sure it'll sell out quickly. I'm sure we'll find some more fun stuff. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. We'll break with you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com.